$7,804.68 I did the math. $7,804.68 is the amount of value my company wants from me for free by making me go back to hybrid in the office. And they wonder why we don't like back to work? Let's break down those numbers. 7 miles 2 for each way 3 days a week $0.655 for the IRS standard for mileage in 2023. That's $27.51 a week for my mileage. Now let's look at what my time is worth. 0.5 hours to commute and walk into the office and get to my desk 2 for each way 3 days a week $40.86 my hourly wage based on my annualized salary as a developer. That's $122.58 a week for my time. Add those together and multiply by 52 weeks in a year and we arrive at a figure of $7,804.68 a year. That my company wants from me. For free. Back to work is bad idea and these corporations want you to volunteer your life away so they can justify their office costs. Fuck you, pay me. Time for a new job. Edit 1 This was always a remote job. Edit 2 A lot of people don't know what IRS mileage is apparently. It covers theoretically the cost of gas and vehicle depreciation in the form of wear and tear over time. Sit down and really dial in the math, then present it to your direct report as an ask for additional wage. You never know, it may work. More power to your brother the more resistance to the office environment the better $7,800 is a lot of work for free. Unfortunately, our economy is built in a way where the only math that matters is whether or not someone can replace you. Fight it as much as you can my friend. And they wonder why we don't like back to work? Back to office. FTFY. I work at least as hard from home as I ever did from the office. I did similar math and between childcare, needing a second car, and an average of two hours a day commuting for reach us. The number was over $90,000 a year. Going into an office is ridiculously expensive. When I switched to a fully remote worker it was like getting a $15,000 raise. Less wear and tear on personal vehicle. 8-10 hours a week not commuting. If companies want people in office they should pay more for coming in. Period. But until that day. Working remote saves me money. I currently have to relocate my family from the west coast to the east coast. I'm spending five figures to trade a gorgeous house for a shoebox app that will cost two three my income. After that I get to do daily commute again. Get a new job you're saying. I would love to. My industry believes it's in a recession and no one is hiring. Don't know when that will change and I got two kids I need to take care of. I'm going to go in debt this year because people who don't work with me demand I'm in the office. I'm gonna still be prickly about it on my deathbed. Even before the pandemic, I always questioned the cost of commuting. Even brought it up in negotiations in 2015 when I was hired with a company. The answer they gave me is that you can live anywhere, so we don't pay for that. Technically we can't live anywhere. It is based on the amount of money the employer provides and the housing market. I hate employers. Thank goodness I left there and have a remote position. Can't imagine it would go away because I would have to move pretty far otherwise. Add work clothes, dry cleaning, make up to the glist and it's even more out of your pocket. My roommate estimates she saved $2,000 in makeup last year working mostly from home. Companies are going to quickly discover that this phenomenon has hidden underlying wage inflation. I recently interviewed for a job. We got to the offer stage. They wanted hybrid three days a week. They offered me slightly above what I am currently making full WFH. I respectfully declined the job as I was not interested in hybrid at all. I told them the offer would need to be approximately $30,000 more before I could even consider a like-for-like -like evaluation with my current job by evaluating my time, fuel and other costs. I am fully remote, 
always will be as we are a global company and a lot of remote sites and workers all over the world, so it would be very difficult to get us to go into the office, hell the office isn't even big enough for everyone in our location anyway. But you're pretty much spot on, I worked out that working remotely full time is worth about $25,000 a year to me. I get approached all the time by recruiters and I say I have an in-office overhead of $30,000 per year that I'll need written into the contract. Needless to say I don't get a lot of responses back, but I'm not looking anyway, smiley face. I used this same thinking to turn down a $10,000 raise plus bonuses at a new company, whatever those would have been. Time commuting, wear and tear to car, gas, increased car maintenance, increased time doing said maintenance, not being as comfortable at work, being forced to make banter with co-workers, wear on my patience having to risk my life driving two hours every day, even when it's icy, and not being able to go up and see my one-year-old kid whenever I want. It would be a lot of math to do. And my co-workers do not enjoy snuggles, tickles and being thrown up in the air. Now, here's a little story I've got to tell about a work-from-home guy we know so well. He could only keep up financially because he wasn't commuting 150 miles daily. I don't know the rest of the lyrics, but daily in office would cost me roughly $600 a month just for gas. This all day really oh to fuck you pay me. Not like they can't afford it. Companies making record profits gouging customers these days. Open secret that they can't deny. Now they want to pass costs to us to stay in their phallic shaped buildings. Fuck you pay me. Don't forget the unpaid lunch break. At home, it takes me 10 minutes to make and eat a sandwich. In the office I have a 60 minutes unpaid lunch break which I either work through or sit in the break room on my phone, or go out and spend money buying lunch. 45 minutes x 3 by 40.86 x 52 4780.62 you're literally a developer, the job is 100 computer based. Corporate clownery at its finest. I think you forgot to add the price of gas and additional laundry from the work clothes. So it's closer to 10k, emo. I'm in the same position as you, I was originally hired as 100 remote then slowly but surely new policies and procedures are being enforced. I've come to the realization that my company would rather I do 3 hours worth of work in the office than 8 hours at home. The people at my company treat the office as a social event with coffee breaks, walking breaks, lunch breaks, etc. I just did the math for myself and it makes me sad $21,494.20. Probably should have done this before I accepted the position the next town over. I'm only allowed to work from home when there's two inches of snow or when the roads are flooded. You all realize this is eventually just going to turn into employers reducing WFH salaries by this amount right? With the wear tier and increased devaluation of your car with the extra travel, it'll be more than that. I don't understand this back to the office thing. I had a terrible flu last week. Since I work from home. I was able to answer a few important emails and get payroll in even from bed. There's just so much benefit to both sides with work from home. If you plan to actually make this proposal, make sure you also account for the less tangible expenses, such as added stress from commute and the related shortening of your life and reduction in quality. Additional cost of food, if you have to eat out when in the office reduced productivity while you're in the office money you will save on your electric bill. Also, attach your resignation to the proposal, make sure they know they need to accept one or the other. This made me do the math for my own situation and I landed at $36,504 years. My commute is 38 miles one way. It takes me 1 hour 45 minutes one way, and I make much less than your $40.86. My company just started layoffs last week because the film industry is in the shitter right now. We've also been cut to 4 day work weeks so effectively lost 20 of our pay. Time for me to abandon ship while it's still somewhat afloat before it sinks entirely.